It's Capstone Part 2. Welcome to my capstone. For those who don't know what a capstone is, it's pretty much just what I did this year just summed up into one stupid video of like possibly five minutes or more. I will show you what I learned and all the achievements I have done in the course of these five minutes or more. Probably. In CM20 I learned a few new filming techniques with camera angles, special effects, and sound quality that have really enhanced my videos to make them look as appealing as possible. In CM20, we mostly used Premiere. Unlike CM10, we always used Photoshop or animation. We rarely ever use those. Sometimes Photoshop if we're just making like thumbnail or anything, or just like a small thing that happens in a video, but we rarely ever do that. And we sometimes use Audacity, but rarely ever. Only for like voiceovers or anything. In CM20, we got we had three ways to get sound or music. It was either from Lendrum's pre-supplied music or sounds. We made them ourselves, like our Foley effect, which was I think Lab Four. And we either got it from YouTube, which I mean YouTube probably is the better choice as there's a lot of variety on YouTube as a lot of videos are being made there today constantly like right now get get outside get out of here I need a new chair So even though we so even though we only made six videos in CM20, I still tried to make them as appealing and eye-catching as possible because with the six videos, you have to you have to evenly lay them out so you have enough time to record, have enough time to get the right audio, right time to set everything up in Premiere. So make sure you do that because if you don't, then you're gonna get screwed over and you're gonna just be behind. So I recommend you do that. If you don't do that, then you're stupid. Even though some videos are time consuming, as long as you have the right crew of people to do it with and then all the right equipment, you should be fine. It's just that if you have to record on multiple different days, it's kind of hard as sometimes you want everyone to wear the same thing so they don't look off. Like one person could be wearing like a blue shirt and in the next video, the next part of the video, they could be just wearing a red shirt and like doesn't look right does it so don't do that make sure you record on the same day or make sure you plan with your crew to get the same exact outfit so it doesn't look funky and by funky I mean bad you don't want bad videos because you don't want to be stupid it's kind of hard when you make videos with like a lot of people and sometimes it is hard to get all of them ready to do it because some people have like other things to do so normally you have to do after school and some people have jobs now they're in grade 11. Mostly when you record it's like after school because you can get a more variety of settings instead of just this room and the green screen room which is also not a good place to record sometimes because a lot of people use it. So you want to get some variety in there. Variety. So for CM there are a lot of good things and bad things. Most of them are good, some bad. But I mean, it's just like in a lot of other class, right? Like, you gotta have some favorite parts of the class and some which you just don't wanna like about it. The good things about the class is, normally grading is really easy as long as you get the right things handed in at the right times instead of having to go back and forth between your computer. Because just a heads up, you have to hand in your stuff to Lendrum in person. And that can sometimes get a little frustrating but at least you know what you're getting for a grade instead of waiting for like three months to get a paper you handed in like a long time ago and then not know what it is until like 10 years later. Um, 
Also, there, there isn't a final essay or exam. It's just a final project like this. And you can see that this is very easy to make as all you do is just record yourself talking to a piece of paper or a camera or yeah. So it's not that hard. Also, you can make these videos with your friends. You can make them with like other classmates. You can just make fun videos that you guys can enjoy, enjoy to make. Also, if you do actually enjoy making videos, maybe you can make a job out of it, like a YouTuber, and then be the next PewDiePie, even though you get a lot of criticism for being top of YouTube, so probably not the best idea, but you never know. And then the bad things about CM is that they have marking matrices and plans, so if you don't do those, you get marks docked off, which isn't fun because it's a very easy way to lose marks. So don't do that. Make sure you have everything handed in before you do it, because if you don't, then you're dumb. Also, there's this new thing called a mastery journal, which is something you do from the beginning of the year to the end. It's pretty much just stuff you've learned throughout the whole year. And if you wait until like the last week of doing it, it kind of sucks because it's like 70 questions and it's a lot to do and make sure you do that because if you don't then you're also stupid. So I'm warning you, you better do that because if you don't then you're dumb. Um, and if there's a lot of people in the class using things like the sand room and the green screen room and just general equipment, it sucks really sucks because a lot of people use it it's not fun so you have to come after school or go to go here at lunch to edit or stuff I don't know about you guys but my class was small good enough for me but I do know that sometimes it does suck so have fun with that and also most of the things you do in this class involve the internet getting sounds from YouTube or any other website, uploading it to the school's YouTube channel, and just getting special effects from YouTube or anything. It really sucks because when the YouTube goes down, that's like half of all the things you have to do. And not fun because the internet sucks, especially the school internet sucks. It's very bad. Use your data or something, I don't know. It's really frustrating when you I have a whole video, it just... Also another really frustrating thing is that now they start re restarting the computers and wiping all the data. So, I don't know about you guys, but it sucks because corruption happens a lot on your videos now. So, three weeks of work, <clears throat> gone. Just don't exist anymore. And you have to try to get it back, and then you get frustrated, and you just ruin the day. It's not very fun. I would know from experience as it happened quite a bit. So everything in CM is pretty much self-explanatory. Except if you know you're on an intellectual, CM means communications media. And CM is where you make videos on either really serious topics that happen in society that need to be raised in awareness. So, anything like stereotypes or just anything about addictions or anything. Or, CM can be just a really fun class you can do with your friends, make some funny videos, make amusing things, and just get some general laughs out. Because, you know, there's 50-50, either or, and yeah, it's a fun class if you know how to do it. If you don't like computers, like if you don't even know how to turn on a computer, I recommend you don't do it as it's all computers. Everything is computers. Everything. Also, the good thing about CM is that it's an easy credit, as long as you do your things on time. You get all the time in the world to work on stuff, and also sometimes Lendrum does put some videos up beforehand, so you could legit finish something in like the first three months and then be done. And that's all you have to do. The only hard thing about this class is the master journal. You didn't have to do it last year. I don't know why you have to do it now. It sucks. Just make sure you do it. And yeah, that's
that's my capstone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you didn't fall asleep halfway through. I've never been a mobile gamer myself, but have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? If you haven't, you need to get a life. Because Raid Shadow Legends is not only the most immersive gameplay of all time, and the most interactive and man-like game on the whole internet. It's pretty fun. You should download the game right now. Because if you don't, then you're... Dumb. Yes. Don't install it. You're dumb.